The coastline of British Columbia, the Galapagos of the Northwest, inherits a rich marine ecosystem. It attracts diverse species of fish, birds and mammals and provides them with sustainable habitats. For generations, the pristine coastline of BC has been an important part of the native traditions. The natural wonders of this coastline also have been a major attraction for tourism, making it vital to the coastal community's economy. In order to ensure and protect this healthy coastline from exploration, development and risk of spills from crude oil tankers, the Moratorium on Exploitation of Offshore Oil and Gas Reserves was created in 1972. Since 2001, Premier Gordon Campbell has made an aggressive plan to expand the fossil fuel industry, including offshore oil and gas development. He has announced his intention to light the 2010 Winter Olympic torch with oil extracted from BC offshore drilling. This destructive action to exploit fossil fuel is already underway and the government has been giving out a number of subsidies and royalty credits to oil and gas industries, totaling over 238 million. A common misconception about offshore drilling is that it will benefit BC's economy, but offshore drilling is a high-risk investment and oil and gas industries will require substantial amounts of government subsidies. Hibernia, a town southeast of St. John's, Newfoundland, alone required 4.6 billion in government funds. The negative economic impact on BC will affect all British Columbians and Canadians. If the provincial government continues with the exploration, extraction and exportation of offshore oil, the ecologically sensitive coastline will inevitably face up to 483 spills over several decades, a one in five chance of a major oil spill and six billion tons of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere. The devastation of marine life will be irreversible. The provincial government needs to shift its interest towards renewable energy sources and clean production, rather than feeding on the world's addiction to fossil fuel. Alternative renewable energy sources such as solar, tidal, microhydro, geothermal and wind-derived energy have the possibility to create five times more jobs than the fossil fuel industries. In the past, the moratorium was protected by British Columbians' public outrage, demanding the preservation of the pristine coastline. It is our duty to respect the marine ecosystem, to preserve the diverse species of marine animals, and to avoid potential environmental disaster. Take an action and voice your opinion. Let the government hear once again to keep BC coastline oil-free. Visit www.oilfreecoast.org and take an action against the offshore drilling. An action that will fulfill one set of obligations will also fulfill many others.